Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me today. Now in this short lesson, I want to talk to you about breaking the bar and show you some interesting positions. So without further ado, let's get started. Now in this first position, white has a 2-1 to play. White opened with a 6-1, made the bar. Then green replied with a 5-3 to make the three point. And now we have a 2-1 here to play as white. Now the correct move here is to make the five point, anything else would be an error. Now the first thing to realise is that an inner board point is better than an outer board point and that's because of the extra dancing numbers for our opponent if they get hit and are on the bar. So a two point board has three more dancing numbers than a one point board. Now here, even though we are leaving a direct six for green to hit us back and some indirect numbers, there is a huge upside if we don't get hit because then we can make the bar ourselves and we have a four point prime. Now here also, some numbers do play awkwardly for green such as fours where he would be forced to play them down from the midpoint. And then that would mean that he would leave us some fly shots from the 24 and then we would benefit from having the stronger board ourselves if it came to a hitting contest. Even if green were to hit us with a 6 such as 6-3, six, 6-2 six, etc we still would get indirect shots from the bar and then we, again we would benefit from having the stronger home board. So here we simply make the point, we get the stronger home board and we're better off if it comes to a hitting exchange later in the game. Now in this situation, again white has made the bar, but now green has a back checkers split. So how do we go about playing 2-1 here? Now here it's better to split 24 to 21 and making a five point here would be an error. Now with green's back checkers split, it's much more dangerous to make the bar because we are leaving many more shots, 20 plus shots, direct fives and sixes and some indirects. So here we simply split the back checkers and here the rule of symmetry comes into play. That often is the case that when our opponent has split the back checkers looking to make an advanced anchor, we should also do the same. So here you can compare this to a previous position where green's checkers weren't split and now here they are split. But of course backgammon is not that straightforward and there are of course many exceptions which we will see in some other positions. Now firstly here we can see a comparison between green having the three point made on the left and the two point made on the right and now with green's deeper point and blitzier structure it's now better to make the five point as white even though the decision is close. So there you can see a comparison between green having the three point and having the two point. Now what about this position here? Now here we make the five point again now, we often prefer to hit green off the four point to prevent him from anchoring on a future roll, but that would be a mistake as we are currently outboarded by two points to one point, so that negates the hitting play. Now here, it's better to equalize our board strengths and also we duplicate threes by making the five points. So here you can see that after the five point has been made, green needs threes to anchor, to hit, and also to do effective things on his own side of a board too. So always look for duplication in the opening game. And here threes play well for green all over the place. And what about this one?
So here again, it's better to make the five point. Here, the duplication is not as strong, but here making the five point is marginally better because we can see how certain roles will play for green, such as four one, five three, and two one. And in those cases, we would prefer a stronger board as white. And of course, double five plays terribly for green here by not splitting our back checkers as white. And you can just see how badly uh, that role would be. So even though we are opening ourselves up to a double attack there with sixes and fours and some combinations, green does have some bad roles in response and a double five is a real anti-joker. So you certainly go through the roles which play badly for your opponent and a dice distribution function is really good on XG for that. Often you need a very good excuse not to make the five point. So really making the five point should be your first port of call and then you should try to talk yourself out of it. And if you can't, then just make it. So here are some positions on breaking the bar and making the five point. Remember, an inner board point is better than an outer board point 95% of the time, I would say. All right, good luck over the board. See you next Wednesday. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.